Hello everybody and welcome once again to Forever Stranded. In the last episode we built this space elevator, if I remember rightly. And today we're going to go and do some mining. But in the meantime we've actually had some bugs fixed. Including the space elevator and the biome scanner. So let's quickly go and have a look at that. So I'm going to take the space elevator up to the space station. I'll wait a few seconds, like about 10, and then up we go. This is a, a cheap way, it saves, uh, saves going up in the rocket every time, making sure you've got your helmet on, which in fact, just having said that, reminds me I need to put my helmet on when we get to the, to the space station. So what I discovered is that the biome scanner doesn't work properly on Earth because Earth special, but does work quite well with some of the other planets. So I'll go and have a look at one of them particularly, or maybe we can have a look at a couple, and then set up an orbital miner as well. Here we go. Strange when it does that. So what I've got. Let's go downstairs first of all. My space station is starting to look a little bit cluttered, but never mind. So we're at the moment we're at Earth. So let's go and select another planet. Let's go and pick, for example, Sol 6. Select that one and then walk there. Doesn't take very long. Let's go outside. Woo! I pressed the button twice then, didn't I? And let's have a look at what this tells me now. So, it says we've got Ocean, Savannah M, Mesa Plateau, Birch Forest Hills M, Savannah Plateau M. So that's now pretty useful. It's giving us exactly what we expect to see. So that means, if you're looking for the sapling, don't go to this planet, because it hasn't got alien forest. But we could actually quickly go to the, the planet with the alien forest and see what we have there. So let's go and do that. So we need to select the planet. Let's go up. Let's have a look at the planet list. And it is, I think it's Epsilon Era. Indeed it is, and it's all 40. Uh, so let's select that and then walk. You see now, yeah? Select this planet here, and it wants to go to Earth. I have seen this before. It's not what we want to do. So we have to do it, we have to do it this way. So we go up, planet list epsilon era, and then sol 40, press escape, and then we right click this, and then we can warp there. And here we are, we've already arrived. So let's now go and have a look at the planet list, uh, the, the biome list on here, and see what we ha what we see. And sure enough, we see Savannah Plateau M, Desert, Extreme Hills M, Alien Forest, and Mushroom Island. So there you have it. So that's much better than it was. And it's actually useful. We'll go back to the um, Earth, or Sol, as a dimension. We'll do some mining there. So let's do that. So let's select the planet. Let's go back up to select uh, Sol. That one. And we'll go to Sol 17. I don't know why there's a gap between these two, but it doesn't matter very much. So we press escape. We'll go back on here and then walk there. I don't think it matters very much. And we should just get a look. Oh, actually it wasn't very much this time. Let's have a look what we've got in this one. So we've got some Meta Bryce, some Mr. Plateau M, Mr. Plateau F and M, Savannah and Deep Forest. So let's set up the or orbital miner next. So first of all, let's have a look at what we need for it. So if I open this one, and let's go and select orbital miner, which happens to be the last one on the list at the moment, orbital laser drill. That's actually what we need. And then press E, and then we have a look at what we need. So we need one 
orbital laser drill. Okay, let's make that first. Oh, wrong one. Here we go, an orbital laser drill, which I haven't got enough bits for, so that's great. And it's usually this one that is the most demanding of the components, the actual main one. Next we need 24 advanced machine structures or advanced yeah 24 advanced machine structures let's go and order those because i haven't got those in stock um we've got four and we need to craft another twin yes i have got it set up so that uh, it will automatically craft four so i always have four in stock so now we need to craft uh, eight more. Let's start that. That'll take a few seconds to do. And while that's doing that, let's get the next next, next set of components ready. Because it's got to make the rods and things. And it keeps the rods in stock. That's why it was fairly quick to start with. So we need seven power plugs. So let's have a look for what the recipe for those is, because I've forgotten. That's actually a plug I have to look for, isn't it? Oh, actually it's not advanced rocketry, this is Lib Thulpis. Input power pl plugs. So we need seven of these, probably haven't got enough batteries. Oh, yep. What did I say? Let's make some small batteries. Um, I can. Wrong one, that's the, this one. Batteries are made from those. We need four, we need 28 of these. That's enough, we'll make a couple of extra ones anyway. We always need batteries. Probably just make a stack and be done with it. Tin plate I can also craft and also iron rods, so that's no big deal. And the iron rods are automatically also in the stock item, so they will automatically get crafted up. So now we've got one of these, so we need another six more. Yeah. And also the machine structures are also in the um in the stock items on the AE, so they will automatically get crafted up. So if we look here where are the machine structures here we've got 20 and I think it goes down to four and it will automatically craft those so now we've got five of those how many do we need to do now 21 we need 24 another four there we are 24 so they're automatically done now what else have we got in here that we need glass eight and four output hatches well our glass won't be a problem let's get the glass sorted out next and output hatches which are these wasn't it oh we just ran out of chests i haven't put chests in a auto craft i should do really right that's everything we need i think so let's get and build this thing and i've chosen a space i think i've chosen a space just here that's right yeah and it looks like that sort of shape so let's put it down here like that so what do we have output hatch in fact what i'm going to do is to move everything into my hot bar that I need. And those are the five items, I think. Yes. So, an advanced machine structure. Output hatch. Output hatch. And when I finish doing this, I'm going to have to um clear underground or below below the uh, the block because it will um 
have I got on the top here? I'm jumping a bit high. I should turn up the gravity, shouldn't I? So we've got the four glasses just down here. Oh. Five glass, I mean. Uh, so some more ad advanced machine structures. And then the fourth output hatch here. I might have to build around this, of, of course, as another option. The next layer, there's about five layers in this, I think. I can't see what it is, so let's have a look. Oh, I've done a whole lot. Let's go back down like this. So, advanced machine structures. Another set of glass. It's my first time doing one of these machines. Oh, I've only got... Did I miscount glass here? Oh, advanced machine. Machine structure, machine structure, and oh, glasses in the middle. Okay, good. So another four of these then. So, yeah, recipe for advanced machine structures is actually fairly expensive because it's titanium rods and plates that you need for that. So what have we got here? Power plugs. Advanced machine structure, let's do that one first. Then we can stand up on it, you see. So power plugs. Orbital laser drill, power plug, power plug. Orbital laser drill, maybe I will move that actually. Let's put it, uh, it wants to be in the middle. So I don't think it matters at all where you put these things. Let's put it here, for example. Like that, and then put the next power plug over here. These are always symmetrical, these machines, which is, is also quite nice. Come stand back a little bit more. And next layer. Should you have two more glass? I wonder where they've gone to. Maybe there's another layer yet, because there's only four on this one. Next layer. Well, that is the last layer. Did I miscount these? Well, we'll see. If I right click this now, it should form. No, it's not forming because I've got something wrong. Something in the middle here. That's going to be a pain. Oh yes, it doesn't look right on this layer at all, does it? Uh, maybe that's where the missing bits are. So I've got three of these, that makes sense, because I've got a gap here and here, look. And the glass will go in here, I reckon. At least one of them. Let's just have a quick look at this again. Yes, there's another glass on this layer. And machine structure. That should actually be okay. I think I miscounted the glass. Yes, look at that. Oh no, I still got it wrong. Okay, and I'm gonna have to break this down a little bit more. What am I missing here? That looks reasonable. There looks like a gap here. Okay, I think I missed a block of glass out here. Maybe this layer, maybe the one above it. I'm not below it, I mean. There's a glass here, I can see that. Difficult to see, actually. I'm sure I did the five glass at the bottom. Yes, yes. Okay, let's put these back again. Oh, no, let's get the thing to show me what should be where. Oh, there looks like a gap here that shouldn't be. So advanced machine structure, advanced machine structure. It's quite difficult to get these things completely right, isn't it? That looks like there should be an advanced machine structure down here, which is missing. That's bad. Advanced machine structure here. 
glass here, which I don't think I've got. Ah. And I don't think that's right. So I've now got three blocks of advanced machine structure, which I shouldn't have. I think I'm going to have to start again. Just a second, I'll come back when I've rebuilt it. Well, I figured out my mistake. I'd missed a glass block here, or I'd put it in the wrong place, because it does depend on the order. So the size is actually, the direction is important. So let's put the drill back here, and then right click that, and this is what we get. Sort of an interesting looking item, which we need quite a lot of power for by the looks of it. Let's have a look what it says. We'll need 700 RF per tick for this thing. And we also need a lens. Now, what type of lens we need in here, I'm not 100% sure. So let's have a look. So we have two choices. I suspect is going to be this lens here. Which, of course, I have to go back to Earth to make because I haven't got one of these. As far as I can see, and I don't have a recipe for that either. Oh, okay. That's a bit of a pain. Never mind. Let's get the rest of this set up while we're here. Because I'm going to have to knock down the blocks below it so it can see uh, the world below. So let's just do that quickly. I'm not exactly sure how many of these are not I need to remove. But I suspect it's all of them. That's probably this one as well. It may not be for the power, maybe not for the power bits. Of the output hatches, they may be all right not to have blocks they can probably have blocks underneath this we'll see so next thing i'm going to do is power now this does it tell me how much power this needs in here Seven hundred thousand. yes exactly now the problem is these cables that i've got from energy pipes we'll try using these first of all but they can only transfer um 500 RF per tick. So maybe we need more. That's well, but we'll find out. I suppose it's the easiest thing to say. Let's put some. Oh yes, I have to probably shift click those into place. Of course, I've got to press shift as I'm coming down here to get those in place up. Yep. If you don't, if you're not quick enough, you can't do it. Maybe I can do it from here. Now. Yes, that's one way. It's not where I wanted it though. That's probably easy to go around like this. Because these are actually solid hit blocks, um, full hit blocks, I mean. So you can do it like this. Missed again. Pretty easy to miss on this thing. And that should. Oops, I keep missing. Get it to the right place. I'm going to go around and do all of these on all sides, and maybe we can put the power at the top. So let's do that. In fact, that's probably a good way. I'm going to use um, a dimensional transceiver for power. I was thinking about using another star generator. I could do that as well, because I've got one with me. And I've also got another uh, a dimensional transceiver. Well, I don't have one with me. Well, I do. Maybe I do. So have a look. Yes, I do. So now I can put this one down here like this. And that will then start to give us power. So if I just connect it up with some more cables, I think I can do it. Let's do it on the top like this. And then maybe with the two port the two outputs as it were will have enough power going around through here you see that's going up reasonably fast that's good so we just have to go back uh, to earth and i can't teleport from here to earth because i'm on a different um, 
uh, on a different planet. You see, it doesn't count down. So I have to go back to Earth to do that. So I shall be back. I shall go to, I shall go to Earth and I'll meet you there. Right, I'm back again now. And let's. And we need to set up some recipes, I think, to start with. So we need this lens. And I haven't got a recipe for this one. So we haven't got a recipe for that. So let's just do that as a recipe to start with. And what else do we need? A lens. So let's put those into there just in case we haven't got any. Basic lenses. We'll need that recipe like that. And we need three of those. I've probably got enough glass, that's for certain. What else do we need? Uh, an iron rod. So let's get an, an iron rod from there and three lenses and three pieces of glass. So let's have a look. But I might as well take them out of here, my entire three of those. You might be able to hear that somebody's knocking down the building opposite, which is a bit irritating. We need one of those. And we need three pieces of glass, wasn't it? Oh, that was a bit slow. So, what do we need? So it's glass lens and rod in the assembler, in the partition assembler. So let's just clear this recipe off and prepare that. We'll make one of those and then we can put this in here. So we need some glass like that. We need three lenses and one iron rod. So let's go, go downstairs. In fact, there is one thing I'd like to show you first of all. Oops, wrong one. How many times have I done that? I'll try again. Is here I've removed all of the um the sand generating part of the build here because I think that was part of the process of causing some quite a lot of lag. I've also added another um, block down here and here so in this molecular assembly you see I've got those stored items that I want to keep here and in this one here I've got some basic stuff like glass and pistons uh, and I think that's probably all we need from those because there are other ones we can auto craft now so let's Go downstairs, the double, the double jump, jump here. So we need to come to the position assembler. So what I need to do in here is just to put into this hatch those items, three, three and one. And that was out so fast we can't even see it. So let's go, <laughs> let's go back upstairs again. Uh, right, so what that was now, we should have now have a lens in here. Get one lens. So we now need we can put this into this recipe here like that. Keep it on us and we can then process this like that. What have I got in here? Oh, there's the glass planes, weren't they? So now we can come up to this side and to the interface term, which I need something else to do it with. So in the molecular assembler, this is my advanced rocketry bit here. So what have we got to take glass paint? So that's my that's basic Minecraft stuff, so we'll put that in there. A basic lens, this is uh, the first part of this one, and the actual lens here. So well, let's have a look and see whether or not that'll work, because at the moment I think we have got no lenses in stock. Yep, we've got no basic lenses. So let's craft one of these. Let's start that. Well, it shouldn't take too long, actually. It should be fairly quick. Then I think what it's going to do to, to get that to work. In fact, it's not looking as well. Let's just check this. So it should have got three of those stored. Ah, yes, of course. Let's just press escape here and let's move that because I put it in the wrong place. That actually belongs in the precision assembler here. So we can put that there and that should now work. Indeed it has. 
So putting it in the right place does definitely help. And it says it should be fairly fast as well. So, right, let's go back up to the rocket. I will see you there. Well, I'm back again with the lens. When I'm between time, I check which lens I need. It's not this one. I just need the basic lens in here. So we need to set a uh, coordinate. So let's set the coordinates up to being um, 550, because we're quite near to here at the moment. And then let's put in another coordinate here, minus 1540, which is the Z, same set as we're on at the moment. Uh, and then it should work. But it doesn't. And the reason for it is I need a lever. So it's got no controls to say on off. But this one here is a lever. So let's right click this here and then turn it on. You'll also, you'll also notice I move the pipes as well because they mean the, the energy cables because before there were too many. And this actually works just fine. So let's turn it on. Let's have a look, see if anything is happening. Oh, look, we're getting cobblestone in. And what happens here is that the power has already been all used up. So this is the correct principle. And it will dig down till bedrock in a single column. So let's have a look how we're doing now. Right, we found some redstone. Actually, you know where I am? I'm actually on the Earth. I should have moved, shouldn't I, to a different planet. But... That's interesting because we know in the Earth we actually have only got desert. And underneath the desert is just sandstone. So it's actually not really mining the Earth. It's just mining this. So that's that one. So that's sort of full. This one's actually getting some iron ore and some cobblestone in it. Those will be the only two, I think. The others won't have any in. And here I've actually set up a little bit of a platform here and i've just left these these have to be visible but i mean it has to be visible it has to see earth now we can't put a chest in front of these so let's do that for example let's just see if we can chest so for example if i put a chest in front of here like this oh sorry on the side that might be neater you see nothing is getting put into this chest so to do that we have to actually use item conduits or some form of transport mechanism that's a bad choice let's pick the hatchet you'll notice how the glass cutter there so that's for basically if i'm breaking the blocks down and moving it use the glass cutter so there aren't any items energy data and liquid so we have to find a different way so we'll have to use the ender io way for doing this so let's get some ender io cables out of here i don't think eight will be enough let's start with 64. and we'll push everything into say an ender chest i've got an ender chest on me i noticed oh i think i have if not i'll have to quickly make one i don't see it I'm sure I did see one. Maybe it's in here. No. No. Right, quickly, let's make an ender chest. Oh, yes, there's two in here. That's where I saw them. But I actually just want a white one. Those are two linked together. I was using for nether stars when I'm testing I was doing. So let's have a look for that. I just want a straightforward white one. Uh, what's wrong with that? Does it need to be a normal chest? I think it might need to be a normal chest. When I say normal, I mean an oak chest. Yes, indeed. In fact, I might as well convert half of these in that case to being oak chests. I've just done the whole lot, haven't I? Eventually. That doesn't that's not telling the truth, that's the correct number. Sixty-three. So if we put an ender chest say down here like that, where's a good place? Here. 
we can then run ender IO conduit around the, the whole of this to bring the stuff across so let's do it like this I think probably in the way you notice I made a little platform as well so I could uh, do everything so let's have a look I think this is possibly the most economical way So we just need the last one in here. And then I think everything's connected. So all we now need to do is to enable that to being always active. I have to do that on all of these, of course. This one to start with. So now, they won't come in here just yet. In fact, what I want to do is so we can see it. I'm going to remove the end of the chest and just put the, an ordinary chest down in its place to start with, I think. So I've got a small crate here, that'll do. Let's put the small crate down here and make sure that those are now it. wrong one. Try again. In insert mode. You see it's already getting the cobblestone in here and also insert mode here. So what have we got? Some diamond ore, that's good. Some cobblestone, some redstone. Oh, lots, actually quite a lot of stuff we're getting. A lot of cobblestone. Which was, of course we would expect that. Some copper ore. Ten diamond or ten redstone or and actually the silk touched already, so that's actually also quite nice. It looks like it's emptied all of these out. Yes it is indeed emptying them all out. How's this getting on? Power. You see the power just about keeps up with the the flow. I, I suspect if we change these to ender conduits, uh energy conduits, it probably works even better. So can we actually see it's on? Oh yes, you get the red border here, look. Let's just turn it off a second. Oh no, that's still still a red border. So I hope you've enjoyed this little episode. And until next time, I'm gonna say bye for now. <laughs>